sleep paralysis, a temporary inability to speak or move while falling asleep or upon waking up, which can lead to horrific hallucinations. These following stories will show you what it's like to be visited by these night specters. Number one. I had one this night and it felt horrible because it was my first one. I was laying on my stomach unable to move. My head and I constantly had a feeling that my eyes were rolling up as if a demon were possessed. And I was trying to say something, but I couldn't make a noise, so I hummed very loud. It felt like a dream, but when I was full control of my body, I was still humming. Number two. I've had sleep paralysis my whole life. I've had very distinct memories of it as a child. I would always start with me waking up and there would be a man in my room in the corner standing over me and I would scream for my parents but nothing would come out. Just quiet air no matter how hard I tried to scream. Once I entered college it started getting worse and I would feel the man run their hands over my body and stuff like that. I'm lucky I never had paranormal hallucinations like lots of other people do, but it's very scary to truly believe that there is an intruder in your room and he's touching you about to rape or kill you and you can't scream. The scariest experience I've had was earlier this year. I woke up and saw the man in all black, disguised, crouching at the edge of my bed, moving into my bed, and I started to scream. I had this tiny, tiny shred of relief knowing that this is how all my sleep paralysis dreams are, and that after a little while of trying to scream, I would wake up. Except I actually screamed. I fucking screamed. And I heard my scream echoing in my head. And I screamed more and more. It was real. There really was a man that entered my room. Years and years of my nightmares finally come true. I've yet to recover. Number three. For me, I've definitely had more terrifying things happen, like voices telling me to run. But the scariest was the first time. Nothing strange happened other than conscious paralysis. I just had no idea what was going on. It felt like I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die. Number four. I don't know if this was sleep paralysis or night terrors, but for maybe a year when I was seven or eight, I had these awful dreams. They were about my size Barbie doll. I would have dreams where I felt awake, but I was asleep and the doll was terrorizing me. The worst one I can remember was us on the floor and she was crawling towards me with this huge angry smile. And I wanted to get up and move away, but I couldn't. I'm 19 now, so I don't remember a lot of them. I just know it went on for a while and my dad was worried because I'd be screaming in my sleep. They stopped when I got rid of the doll and I had to see a counselor for a while. Number 5 I have sleep paralysis a couple of times a year. And it's always an awful feeling of something very evil in the room, just standing and watching me. And I want to scream. I want to move, but I can't. I have huge anxiety attacks where I get the feeling if I don't move, 
this instance, something awful will happen, and slowly a low growl comes out of my mouth and I wake up. Number six. A couple months ago, I had fallen asleep with my back to the ceiling. The episode started with my door creaking open and a creature coming and putting all of its weight on me. It then told me not to move or it would kill me. It began to lick the rim of my ear with a long, forked tongue. Right after that, I was able to move, and the episode was over. I've never been so terrified in my entire life. Number seven. I used to have sleep paralysis almost every day when I was younger. I was sleeping on my side once when I saw a hand crawling over my body. Out of nowhere, it was hugging my chest with such force. I couldn't even move. The ringing in my ears became louder and louder, and there was a sharp pain in my back that only got worser as the loudness of the ringing increased. The pain felt like it was climbing up my back until eventually it went out of the top of my head, and then everything stopped. I couldn't sleep the rest of the night. Number eight. This just happened to me a couple weeks ago. A small child hand came out from under my bed, followed by his head. No eyes, no nose. Just three weird slits for a mouth. He looked at me for a second, then whispered, I can only see the scariest things. He then stood up and started violently pounding on the side of my bed. All I could do was lay there and sort of moan. I heard my roommate wake up and he seemed to as well, cause he jumped up to the end of my bed and sort of crouched down staring at my door. My roommate came in the room to see what was going on. As I fully woke up, I could see him slither back under my bed out of the corner of my eye. Pretty unpleasant. It's always scary when